okay, we gotta, we gotta talk about this lens because this lens is my baby now. <sighs> this is a Canon, and by the way, this is an old lens because I buy used lenses that are older for dead systems, but I make them work with my new system, which is the Sony a7 III. This is the Canon 70 to 200 millimeter f 2.8 this is not the image stabilization version because that would be very expensive and I don't quite know if I needed it yet especially for portraits which is what I'm doing with this I'm gonna roll in some footage that I've taken from this lens and then I'm going to roll in some footage that I've taken with this lens which is like a 75 to 100 dollar and so i'm gonna there's a there's a comparison here because yes i've gotten some good stuff out of both but like i said that's my new baby and this one i don't know if i'm ever going to use it again even though it's got 100 mils more of reach but that might not matter so let's roll the footage in Alright, cool. Now when I say footage, I really mean just pictures because I'm not, I have not quite gotten to the level where videography can be a thing for me. I really want it to. And although I make these like these studio videos, which are much easier for me because I understand the way to do it. I have a whole setup. I've got lighting. I've got my, my big TV that's on the wall is connected through HDMI to the camera. So I can set myself up, I can make sure I look good, I'm in focus. Um, and so if you ever see my videos looking up to the left, that's because that's where my big TV is, that's basically my monitor. I've got a microphone on top of the camera, makes things so much easier. Now, do I know where I was going to go with all that? Not really, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, the puppy has come into the room. Oh, you good girl. Okay, so maybe you're thinking, Alex, how are you using an old Canon EF lens on a Sony a7 III, which is only a couple years old? Different systems, different brands, different lens mounts. And that's where the Sigma MC11 adapter comes in. This is the Sigma MC11 adapter. It has Sony E-mount here on the back. Um, and on the front, it has Canon EF. And there's no glass in here. It's really just a mount-to-mount pass-through thing. So, it does push the lens out a little bit, but this lens is so long anyways that it doesn't matter because I'm already committed to hauling around a bigger setup. I don't know what it's like to use a native lens longer lens on this Sony a7 III, so I don't know if there's any massive image quality differences between using the adapter and not using the adapter. I will say that the autofocus isn't like the most amazing thing using the adapter because it's it's just not as accurate. And I think now, looking forward, that if I wanted to have really good autofocus with the Sony a7 III, I would have to use a native lens and that's that's why I love this lens so much. It's the Sony 24mm 1.4 G Master lens and it is by all means like it's perfect. It does exactly what the lens should be doing. So that is my very limited and short use experience with this Canon EF 70-200mm to 2.8 
lens. I'll see you guys in the next video. It may be about the flux stuff, it may be gun meme review, or it may be about cameras again. So uh, keep an eye out. I'm gonna be making them a lot more often because when I have it in a setup like this, and I'll share you with you guys a little secret. I filmed three videos just barely, and I just changed my clothes and or hat between the three to make it look like I did it on different days. I'm trying to be efficient and productive in the time that I have, and so if I could just film these after one and after another, um, it's kind of nice because then I could just edit throughout the next couple days and then put out videos. So either way, thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.